If you want to create an animated profile picture for your Gmail just like this one then keep watching this video because this will be a simple tutorial and it will be a step by step video tutorial as well. So before I start this video make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one and let's get started and let me show you how you can create your own animated profile picture. Okay so this is the Canva as per my long time subscriber knows this is my favorite graphic designing tool. I create thumbnails for my youtube videos and i create logo for my clients and all the stuff related to graphics i use canva to create my graphics it is so simple to use let me show you how you can use canva to create animated profile picture using this free tool canva has two types of account free account and paid account in this video we'll use only free account to create animated profile picture Alright, so go to this website canva.com, you will find the same URL in the video description and when you land on this website, click on this button, create a design and then click on custom size and type 1080 by 1080 and click on create new design. It will open a new tab. So first thing first, before we designing our animated profile picture, give a name to your design, animated profile picture. Now in the first step, you have to add the background. To do it. Let's go to background and you will see different types of background. So I like to use this one. So I'm happy with this color. In the next step, you have to add your visual, which means your photo. Let's go to upload and upload your photo. I'm going to drag and drop this photo over here. Now click on the image. It will automatically come to your canvas. I'm going to scale it up just like it. And now I'm going to remove the background. If you want to remove the background in Canva, you must have pro account, but don't worry. You can use these website to remove your background without spending any money at all. I'll leave a link in the video description. Once you remove your background, upload your image. Right now I'm going to remove background using Canva because I have pro plan. I'm going to select the image, click on edit image and here you will see this option background removal. Click on it and it will show its magic. Okay, so I've removed the background but I only need a head. So I'm going to remove the body. To do it, I'm going to click on the eraser button. Now. All I have to do, just remove the body just like it. Let's increase the size of the brush. Now here you have to very careful. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to scale down the brush size even more. Let's remove the extra part because I only need the head. So I'm going to speed this video up and I'll come back once I'm done. Okay, so this is what I get. Let's zoom out. Let's click over here and then click on fit. Okay, now I'm going to click on done and then you have to click on this apply button. There you go. Okay, now it's time to add the shadow. To do it, select the image, click on edit image once again and you will see this shadow option. Now click on the drop. There you go. And now click on this filter button or the settings button it will open the settings of this shadow now here you can adjust the shadow offset angle transparency and blur for me it's pretty good click on apply there you go once you do it now you need to scale it up awesome right now it's time to add the stop motion animation and let's see how you do a stop motion using canva it's pretty simple just follow my steps select your first page and select the image don't select the background image, lock the background. Select the background, right click and lock it. Okay, now select the image. Here you will see the rotation button. In the first page, it should be center. Let's copy the first page by pressing Ctrl C and press Ctrl V. And you will have the same image. And in this image, select your profile picture and rotate it into right side, 30 degree. You will see this degree icon. Okay, next copy the first page, control C and press control V and adjust them. Okay, now in the first page, it is center. In the second page, it is rotated minus 30 degree. In the third page, it is center again. Now copy paste third page, control C and control V. Now I have two copies in the fourth page, select your image or rotate 30 degree this way. Okay, now copy 
the fourth page, control C and control V and paste it. Rotate this page 60 degree because we will rotate this image clockwise. Okay, now copy the fifth page, control C and control V. Rotate the sixth page, add 30 more, 90 degree. Just keep adding 30, 30 every time on every page. So keep adding 30 on every single page until you complete your clockwise rotation. You can add 20 or 50 if you want a smooth animation. But I'm gonna add only 30 which is more than enough. So I'm gonna speed this video up and I'll come back once I finish with this clockwise stop motion animation. Okay, so my stop motion animation has completed. I rotate the image clockwise and I have 15 pages as you can see. In the next step, we are going to add the animation. First of all, let's click on the first image and click on this animation button. And here you will see different types of animation. Select the one you like. Okay, I like this one, stomp. And here make sure select on enter on your first page and then click away. And next go to the last page and click on animation button. And I'm gonna add the same animation, stomp. And this time I'm gonna select on exit and click away. And now it's time to change the duration of these pages. It's very simple. Here you will see the duration of these images or these pages. Click on it and here set the duration as minimum as possible. Right now you can see this is a 0.1 second and click on apply to all pages. Okay. Now select the first page and click on this duration button once again and change the duration to one second. Okay. Now let's go to the last page and change the duration one second. In the first page we have duration one second and the last page we have duration one second. In the rest of the pages we have the duration 0.1 second. As you can see our GIF image duration is 3.3 second which is awesome. Let's preview what we have done so far. Click on this button. Awesome guys. This type of animated profile picture look awesome when you set it on your Gmail. All right, let's move to the next step. In this step, we are going to download this animated profile picture for Gmail. Let's click on the share button and click on the download. And here, click on this drop down button and select GIF. And make sure you select all pages. If not, you can go to this drop down button and make sure you select all these pages. And then simply click on the download button and your GIF image will be downloaded in a few seconds. All right, now let me show you how you can add this animated profile picture on your Gmail. So this is my Gmail and I'm gonna blur it out for security purposes. Now click on this button, your profile picture and you will see this camera icon, click on it. And here just click on the change button and click on from computer and drag and drop your photo that you just created. Okay, so this is my animated photo that we just created using Canva. Let's drag and drop. There you go. Now simply click on save as profile picture. Click on got it and as you can see we got our animated profile picture just like it. Alright guys that's the end of this video. If you found this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more simple awesome tutorials just like this one and that being said goodbye till then I'll see you next time.